I like you the transitions. You can build a gaming desktop for around $1,000, but I want to go all out, so I spent around 2000 PC like this... Well, I, I, yeah, I mean, you can build a gaming desktop for around $1,000, or $350, or $250, or $200, or $175, or $150 or sometimes even a hundred dollars, but yeah, sure, a thousand dollars. An Allen wrench, some tweezers to tighten up the wires. A I have never used an Allen wrench to build a computer ever, and I've built about 30 computers now. I'm gonna be very surprised to see where he uses this Allen wrench, or for that matter, even the, uh, the thermal paste applicator. Uh, the zip ties I understand, I've never used any of the first two. Swiss Army knife, which hopefully has a Phillips head screwdriver in it. What? And a Swiss Army knife, which hopefully has a flip side screwdriver in it. Why are you not checking your tools before you use, before you use them? And last but not least, an anti-static bracelet, which is to protect you and the parts. These are the parts Whoa. you're gonna need. <laughs> what? Oh boy, this is gonna be good. Holy shit. Why do you need a rubber bracelet to protect yourself? I understand protecting the parts, but yourself? You Unless there's power going through the parts you're working with, you don't need to protect yourself from, from what, static electricity? Where you're going to do the running man on the carpet really fast and then you're going to shock yourself? If you want to better understand what kind of computer to build, then first figure out what you want to use it for. A gamer might care more about a graphics card than, say, a video editor who might want extra RAM to assist with editing large files. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold the f***ing phone. Okay. I'm a video editor first, before a computer builder, all right? Yeah, we care about RAM. Like, we definitely care about RAM. We don't want a little of it. We use more than most people. But duh, the CPU is looking a little small on that graph, buddy. Like, video editors, there's a reason that we have and, and really always go for the really nice processor first. So... You're starting to lose me a little bit more than you know before. Those Asus's Z370 motherboard for two main reasons. One, it has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and also it has support for NVMe whoa, SSDs, whoa, whoa, meaning you can get really. What the f are you doing? He's putting in the motherboard before he's putting in the processor and the RAM. I mean, yeah, you can do that. That's actually how I built my first computer. But if you're making a tutorial on how to build a gaming PC, I don't know. If uh, I, I want this to be your first build, so uh, some raising some red flags. Pay close attention to the brace that goes at the back of the computer. You always have to make sure that you really hammer it in because there's what? No, no way! He's calling the I/O shield a brace. There's no way. He must be. He's got to be talking about something different. He can't be talking about the I/O shield. SSDs, meaning you can get really fast SSDs that are really easy to install. Pay close attention to the brace that goes at the back of the computer. You always have to make sure that you really hammer He's it. He's talking about the no IO shield. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. This guy's an idiot. I love this. This is like. I don't know, it's like a reality TV show. This is like a joke, holy god. The slots first, and just aligning the stick with the middle of the strip. He has two sticks. Why is he opening up all four dim slots? I don't even, I'm, at this point, I'm curious if he even knows that they're called dim slots. Okay, so step four, we're going to install the graphics card. I chose PNY's GTX 1080, which is overclocked. And so. The hell? If you got a $2,000 budget, you, you can't afford a better brand than PNY? What the heck? I mean, not to knock PNY. They're not, you know, bad by any means, but. I. No. Uh, now, which lane you choose depends entirely on what other parts you're going to put in the system. I'm just going to pick the top one because... No, 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 no. What? Which lane you choose? No, there are different kinds of PCIe Express lanes. There's like a, there's a 16, an 8, and, you know, I'm not going to explain this perfectly, but depending on the one that you pick, there's like bandwidth limits. Like if if you pick, if you pick the 8 over the 16, you are like putting a cap on what your graphics card can do. So all you have to do is take the brick and make sure that you align it with these little insulating pads. 
so that the power supply doesn't short circuit and come into contact with the rest of the system. Whoa, so hold the f***ing phone. You are actually an idiot, oh my god. So you can't short circuit the system? What? Do you even know what you said? Hold on, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. You align it with these little insulating pads so that the power supply doesn't short circuit and come into contact with the rest of the system. So, so that, okay, so hold on. If the chassis of your power supply touches your case, it's gonna short circuit the rest of your system? What are you on, dude? What the f Like, this is sponsored video. This is presented by Capital One. This is the big, okay, this is a bigger scam than any of my other videos. This is a fucking scam. This dude has no idea how to build a computer. I don't, I don't see fans for this radiator anywhere. Does he put the fans in this radiator? Do first before you install it, because you can see it takes up a lot of space. So next up, cables. And he didn't install fans. He didn't install fans in the radiator. This man is actually a legend. I love this man. Oh my God, more. Every power supply is gonna come with a big bag of Velcro cables. It's kind of Did he of say every first, power so supply is gonna come with a big bag of cables? So next up, cables. Every power supply is gonna come with a big bag of Velcro cables. No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't all come with a big bag of cables. This is so sad. Okay. I feel like I don't even have to like argue this to you. If you watch my videos, I feel like you have a basic understanding of building a computer, but unless you have a modular power supply, they don't come with a big bag of cables. They will already be connected to your power supply, whether you like it or not. Intel Confidential. Ooh, that's fancy. I wonder what it is. We're just gonna take this little plastic part out. We'll just toss that out of here. And now we have an exposed CPU holder, or rather slot, on the motherboard. Just call it a socket. It's a socket. It's not a holder. It's not. It's a socket. And we're gonna use the CPU applicator. This is a special little part that not everyone may get, but this motherboard that we got from ASUS definitely does have. It's called a CPU installation tool. It makes it really useful if you want to install a Core i7 Hexacore CPU. Yeah, we've got one and it's an eighth generation. Oh my God, that's so cringy. That's right, folks. We got one. <laughs> oh, this is too much. What did he even, what does he say he has? Got from Asus, definitely does have. It's called a CPU installation Oh my tool. God, no. It makes it really useful if you want to install a Core i7 Hexacore CPU. No, no, yeah, no, no. We've got one and it's an eighth generation chip and it's ready to go. Oh man. Okay, so it's like a it's like an like an eighty seven hundred K. Yeah, it must be an eighty seven hundred K. You don't use you don't use the tool. You you just drop the processor in the motherboard, dude. So what having this little installer does for you is it's basically a brace that you can apply right to the CPU and light it up with the triangles that you'll see on the bottom left no, corner. No, the triangles on the motherboard. And this will make it easier for us to apply it to the motherboard, no, and apply thermal paste, and then apply a CPU cooler on You top. don't apply anything, and you just And we're just gonna carefully lean it down into the system and make sure that everything lines up. You took the and tool off and you threw it to the side. To it, look at this. He knew he f***ed up in this video. He knows he f***ed up, because look, the tool, the, the tool is like right here, it's to the side. He knows he didn't need it. Now we can't delete everything he said because the editor is someone else other than him. The final portion is to add the CPU cooler to the top end of the processor. So you're gonna see that there are four breath. Oh! It's like someone threw up thermal paste onto his processor. No, if this is the first time you've ever seen one of my videos, don't ever, don't ever apply thermal paste like that. Oh my God, you know, I, I just noticed he installed his RAM wrong too. Dude, I can't even make fun of this guy anymore. He's actually like messed up like almost everything. You see this right here? His RAM sticks are right next to each other. He's breaking the dual channel on his motherboard. Wow. I actually know this Z, 370, I've worked with it before, um, off channel. So I know that when he actually turns this computer, I haven't even seen this. I know that when he turns this computer on 
I know that it's going to boot to the BIOS and everything, but like, this is very inefficient. This is bad. You're not supposed to do that. We're almost done. Glass, side glass, front glass, and of course the back panel where all this fun stuff is happening. So we fully built the PC. Oh, no, look at that. Oh no. Look man, I know I've, th I've shown some bad cable management on the channel before, but like not with a $2,000 budget I have. Oh my God. Okay, so the radiator has the fans on now. He forgot to install it during the build, but now there are fans up there, so he forgot. And he just didn't even bring that up. And, and oh man, this is just curved so whack. And then what is this? Oh, these are the power cables. They're just hanging over the motherboard. He's got his HD audio cable just slanging out for the world to see. It's just hanging there. Just so right now I'm playing League of Legends. It's one of my favorite games. I'm actually playing against a bot. What? And I'm distracted, so I'm not actually doing so well. But um, you got an 8700K and a 1080 inside, and you're benchmarking with League of Legends. This can't be a troll video. Like he actually must be like completely serious the entire time while shooting this thing, because it's this is a sponsored video. And they have over 2.1 million subscribers. There's just no way this is a troll video. Like, this guy's actually serious. For context, League of Legends, the, I go and read this. The minimum requirement for League of Legends is literally a single core processor. The developers actually tell you that the game can be run on a processor with one core. This guy's using an 8700K and benchmarking League of Legends as if it's impressive. The high frame rates like I am right now. Oh man, you guys don't know this or, or the context of this because I'm like a diehard League of Legends fan. But the fact that you play Yasuo, bro, and the fact that you just threw a cue out to God knows where. Let's watch this. And hopefully... What is this cue, buddy? What is that? Who is this hitting? Where is, what are you doing? Why do you, why are you, why do you have 50 HP against a bot? This is your life. Stefan, if you're watching this, this is you in a still frame. Have really high frame rates like I am right now. I'm averaging 120 FPS and that's only because I've actually locked the game to that frame rate because I can get around 300 FPS playing League on maximum settings. The reason you have it capped at 120 frames per second is because you probably are not using a monitor that is 144 hertz, so anytime you get super high frame rates, you're probably experiencing ghosting and Yasuo showing up all over the place because your panel can't keep up with your system. And of course now, we also have a computer to test and benchmark games here at The Verge. Oh, Capital One. Oh, you gotta get your logo scraped off this thing. Holy moly. They have like to dislike and comments disabled. Do they do this for all their videos? Hey YouTube, it's me. No, they don't. They don't do this for all their videos. They just did it for this one. People must have reacted so bad. All right, I, I, I need to get going to sleep, but I'm glad I recorded this, I think.